All right, so now we've covered how do we stay connected with our partners, just the awareness of knowing exactly what is happening, what friends are doing, engagement of the frame. And this is very important when it comes to the frame and Flanny will dive deeper on it, is that there is a difference between being engaged and being bored. It's different, all right? And this, this is where me, I like to talk a lot about the dancer's awareness. The technique, you go with it. But the dancer's awareness, it's a way, it's a mindset, meaning I am dealing with another human being. I'm not gonna make them do things, but I have to communicate it with them. It's the same thing if you follow all, I mean, lead. The dance is not happening to you, you're being part of it. So you're watching what's happening, not just watching, but you're intentionally feeling, all right? Don't think about engaging your muscles, okay? So there are some parts of your body that are gonna be engaged, that are necessary uh, to move, but you always wanna feel that you are developing almost your steps. Like you don't want to have a zombie walk. What I mean by developing your steps and doing a zombie walk is that if I'm thinking just about moving my muscles and I'm stiffening everything, this is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I become a zombie, right? And this is not what you want to do. You want to make sure that your walk is very graceful. So for that, you need to use all your articulation. So then when I'm walking here, I'm using my hip there to relax and be able to move my weight there. I'm using my knee to bring forward. Then when I am stepping, I am putting the ball of my foot first, then using my ankle to put the heel then using my 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 knee to pull me forward and then it's coming back to my hip bone for example so you're going to use all of this in order to do your walk and not do a zombie walk like this i love michael jackson trailer dog. <laughs> just i mean, just a trailer. Trailer. i love michael jackson <laughs> 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 Even the okay. zombies in Michael Jackson are a little bit more <laughs> stylish. <laughs> okay. When it comes to the last exercise, now we try to combine everything that we, we actually learned and push ourselves a little bit, right? Because the walking is already tough to walk, to keep it balanced, ankles and stuff. But now we'll see how we do one of this concept of Kizomo, we call it basic too, right? But the way we'll do it, it won't be side to side. It'll just be a walking. But you understand what the concept of a basic two is. Shall we get started? Shall we? So we're going to modify a little bit, the, but actually a lot, the basic two in order to do this exercise. So if you watch my other videos, you know that basic two is side to side. But here we're going to step forward for the lead, so back for the follow. We're transferring our weight and then the lead is going to give the intention to do a step and then we'll stop before the follow transfers their way. So this is very important for the follow not to anticipate. And I know I am the queen of anticipation here. It's, I, it's hard. It's very hard. But that's where you need to really be mindful and be aware of what your partner is doing and how this is showcasing in your body as well. So again, then the lead is going to walk back, do the step, transfer the weight, and then a step touch, no weight transfer here, okay? And again, we're doing it again. Step, weight, step, no weight. And if this is becoming too easy, you can try to do several steps and do a touch after, if you want. Like that. Okay, so now it's your turn to practice it. Try it and let us know in the comments how it works. And this is going to be very important when it comes to any partner dancing. Please, please be patient with yourself. This is not a game of you get it right or you get it wrong. This is this is this is more of a game where we're learning how to speak in language. I'm learning how to make my body communicate in a different way. Just imagine you got out your first Spanish class. Nobody expects you to have a TED talk in Spanish. 